Hey there, it's Jen. Um, I decided to do a haul video for my weekly post because although us five girls decided to try and do one, all five of us, it was a complete disaster. And so I decided to do my own because with us, if it hasn't happened in like the last week, it's probably not gonna happen for a while, if ever, you don't know. Um, in my kitchen, this is my house. So yeah, my house, no one else lives here. That's not true. I don't know why I said that. Um, anyway, so this, these videos obviously are not going to get any better for you guys, so just deal with it. It's just entertainment for you. Well, you're welcome. I stuttered. Wonderful. Um, anyway, so I have a lot of stuff that I recently bought, which is probably not very good considering I'm pretty much broke, but I did anyway because that's what I do. Um, bunch of different kind of stuff, skincare, hair care, makeup, yep. So I'm gonna go ahead and delve in. All right, so first off, I have the Repairing Awapuhi, I'm sure I said that completely correctly, uh, Ginger Instant Recovery Mask from Organics. I'm sure you guys all pretty much recognize this brand. Um, way too damn expensive for what it is, but you buy it anyway because it smells damn good. Um, I've used this a couple times, and oh god, it smells so good. Uh, uh, uh. Um, all right. Well, it smells delicious, uh, but that's not the point of it. The point of it is it's supposed to be a moisturizing treatment with Awa Puhi ginger extract to instantly mend and soften dry hair and rich keratin proteins to fortify each strand, creating restored soft hair. Um, I have noticed a bit of a difference. I don't know if I've used it enough or, you know, I don't know. My hair's been weird anyway because I need to get it cut really badly. Um, so I'm going to hold off on using this again until after I get my hair cut just because I don't think it's going to do much since my hair is like half dead. But, so, right now, that's kind of on the wayside. But got that at Ulta. Um, also got by reference or by recommendation from Tessa is the Banana Boat Summer Color Self Tanning Mist. Um, it says fresh citrus fragrance. This is not fresh or citrusy. It smells like someone just shat. Okay, not that bad. But it does not smell pleasant. But, um, you know, I've used it a few times already. Wow, I've used a lot of it. Ooh, okay. Um, I like it so far. I think it actually does work. I've noticed it. Um, working especially on my legs. Um, it's easy. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to do your back. I kind of just spray and see what happens. I don't know. I don't know. I don't look at my back. Maybe it's tan. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm... I don't know. Well, I don't know. Um, haven't really gone swimming because it's been cloudy and rainy here, so probably no point. I used half of this for no freaking reason. <laughs> Bitter. Um, also, next is the... Freeman Feeling Beautiful Facial Clay Mask in Avocado and Oatmeal. Um, this was four bucks. So that just was like, yes. Um, I actually have noticed this works. Uh, I really like it. It I use it twice a week. Um, just I like wash my face in the shower and then I'll come out and put it on and do whatever else. Brush my teeth. I don't know. I don't know what I do. Probably just get on my computer or something. Um, but it works. My face, your face is a little tight afterward, but I like it so far. Um, I can tell, I can tell there's like, it's actually doing something. I see stuff like come to the front of, top of my skin. What? Top of my skin? Is that right? I don't know. Um, this is why I'm not an English major. What is this? Uh, so I just kind of, then I just wipe it away with a toner. Um, I use Clinique, so. I like this. Recommend this. They have a couple other kinds. Tori has one. I think Rachel has the same one as her. I don't know. Comment below if you have more of these and if you like them, okay? Use those comments. I'm serious. Okay, what's next? What else we got? Um, got a brush. Elf Studio Complexion Brush. Because um, I was going to buy one from Real Techniques, but then Tess Tessa Kaylee? Kaylee was like, no, don't buy that. 
Mm -mm, because they got one. Elf got one. And Elf's bushes, bushes, that's a word. No, it's not. Brushes are pretty much top, top notch. I love them. Um, I have a few of them. And this is just really soft. I mean, it was $3. I love it. I use it just to put on powder to set my concealer. That's the word. Um, recommend it. $3. I mean, for a brush. Yes. Um, next I got the NYX Blemish Control Blotting Papers. Um, it's like a lavender cover. Uh, this was six freaking dollars. So I don't know what kind of bullshit that is. I didn't know until I like was out of the store and in the car. So, and also it's like 20 minutes from my house. But, um, I like it. I don't know. I haven't really used it that much yet because it hasn't been that hot. But I do notice that it just, it does help get rid of the oil on my face, which is kind of the point of it. But I don't think I need it for six dollars. I'm not, I probably will not be repurging repurchasing this. I've had a difficulty with speaking this week. Um, what's next? Oh, Tessa and I went to Target and both found this nail polish from L'Oreal, uh, in the clearance section. It's a really pretty, um, not baby pink, like salmon baby pink. What's it called? Macaroon Me Madly. I had it on my nails, but you can't really tell. You don't, you don't even know what color that is. I mean, obviously it's not green, but, um, it, it was like less than three dollars so for some nail polish i'm all about that uh and it actually lasted a pretty long time in my nails too which was really impressive for l'oreal um also got two baby lips because i didn't have any which is apparently an atrocity uh there was like a throwdown in ulta that that's not true either um okay uh because i didn't have any and everybody's freaking out so I had, I got two that one that did at each different time. One was at Ulta, one was at Target. Um, this one is the cherry one. It's the one I have on my lips right now because my lips were chapped. Chapped. Um, and then I got this plum one. I don't know what is going on with this one because I mean, I thought it would look nice on my lips, but it kind of makes them feel funky. Like, I don't know. It's like, it's like I have film on my lips, you know, like it's not like a chapstick. I don't, it's bizarre. I, I'm not a huge fan. I still use it because I just do. Um, it's all right. This one. I love the cherry one. My friends love them. I recommend them. If you don't have one, apparently you will get shot. So go get one now. Stop watching this video. Go get it. That was my pizza. Um, oh yeah, pizza. Anyway. Okay, another e.l.f. product. Uh, their blushes, I literally, I don't even, I don't even know what I would do without them. I am such a blush maniac. I don't even, I can't even talk about how much money I spend on blush. Or I'm actually how many I have. Because I didn't, I don't spend that much money on them. But the amount I have is just completely out of control. Um, this one is the Pink Passion. I just picked it up. It, like, looks terrifying in the thing. I don't know if you can tell. That looks pretty terrifying to me. But I picked it up anyway. It was $3. I pretty much love the other two I have, so I was like, this one's going to be good. If not, I'll return it. If I don't return it, it was $3. And I'll probably still use it. Um, actually, it is my favorite one. It's just, like, it's, like, the perfect amount of color because you can... Really, you know, figure out how much you want on the brush. And you don't need that much. But it really just brightens up your face really nicely um, without it being way too overpowering. And I, I mean, I'm pretty pale right now. So I think it pretty much could work for almost anyone. Um, oh, God, I have to sneeze. Holy God. I'm going to warn you right now if this happens. I don't edit my videos. I feel like, why? Why do you edit? Like, what? all about the character right like that okay moving on uh, what else do I got here I got the covergirl lip perfection jumbo gloss balm I had heard some really good reviews about these I picked up this one uh, in rose I think I think it's rose 
I, I'm like 99% sure it's Rose. Um, it, like, you know, I didn't, th I thought it was going to be more of a natural looking color because it looks almost exactly like the one from Revlon I have uh, in Honey, but it's completely different when you put it on. It's like the color that it looks. Like this color that it is transfers as that color. Like it will not change. It is that color. It's not a nude. I mean, it's kind of a nude, but it's definitely way pink. Just pinky. Like my pinky toe. Not like my pinky toe. Um, oh, I'll do one more, and then I've got the big kahuna. Big kahuna. Um, what is this? Oh, this is the Maybelline Color Whisper in Orange Attitude. Oh, yes. I love this one. Um, I prefer this over the lip butter, uh, Revlon lip butters, because I feel like it's way more moisturizing. Um, I don't know. I just like it a lot better. I feel like they're not as, it's, it's sheerer than the lip butters are. Um, I like it way more though. I don't know why I didn't swatch any of these for you. I'm just an idiot. I'll swatch this one for you because I like you. I don't know who you are. Um, it's just like a very orangey color, but it's not terrifying to put on either. Um, like, I, cause I know orange is pretty big right now and a lot of people are probably kind of scared to try it out. Um, so I figured this would be a good way to kind of, um, translate, not translate, what's the word? I don't know. You know what I mean. Maybe. Um, all right. So last one. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. It is the Aqua Lilies by Tarte palette. I bought this a while ago, like before finals, but there was no way I was going to be using this shit during finals because I didn't even know what my name was during finals. Um, but this thing, okay, first off, this packaging, just holy mother of God. It is just, mmm, I just would buy it for the packaging. Um, and then you open it, maybe, if you're not like, having issues. All right. Open it. Looks like this. Oh, just, just rebel. Just, oh, just, I just can't even. I can't even. I can't even. Um, oh, just beautiful. Like, first off, this bronzer, the bronzer and the highlighter. Oh, dear God. And the blush. They're just all perfection. They just all look so natural together. They look, but they also give you a very, like, amazing glow. Like, I can't even. Um, there's those three. The blush is not as pigmented as I'd hoped, but that's okay. I mean, it still looks good. Um, and then here, let's do... I don't got enough fingers. Um, this blue, I use this eyeshadow blue. I'm going to do these three first. These top three. Ooh, blue, brown, cream. Um... They look like that. They are just, mmm, damn. Um, that, especially that cream one, it's just like a nice shimmery champagne-y one. And that brown is matte. I use this blue as a, hi as a highlighter. That would be terrifying. Look like a Smurf. An eyeliner. Um, and that looks just amazing. If you're wearing like a coral top. Oh, damn. Um, I need more fingers. Then... I do. Hmm. Uh, these other ones, like this is the really nice gold. I've got this. These look amazing together. They are a little bit similar, but worn together, they're really beautiful. And then this really dark brown looks like this. It's just an amazing palette. I can't even begin to describe how much I love it. When, um, whenever I plan on going on trips from now on, I'm probably just going to bring that. And that's saying something because I can't go without anything. Okay, that's not true. Um, but it's just perfection. It was like 36 or $38. I know that kind of sounds like a lot, but I'm serious. Get it. You will not regret it. I guarantee you. Like, wow. I haven't spent money on something that I love that much anyway. Okay, well, that was a really long video, and I know I'm looking weird with my fingers, but, I mean, what are you going to do? Um, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too rambly, but sorry if it was. Um, I just had a lot of stuff to show you guys. That's, like, been conglomerating for, like, three weeks now. Um, probably longer than that. 
So just wanted to do that for you guys. Uh, please comment below. Please, please, I beg you. Please, I want to like win the competition to see who gets the first comment. It's not really a competition. I just made it one. What? Um, I say whoever gets the first one gets Taco Bell for free. Um, anyway. So, have a good rest of your Wednesday. Or actually, I'm filming this Wednesday. Have a good rest of your Thursday. And I will talk to you later. Adios.